Hi friends, thank you all so much for coming back to craft with me today and welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today we're going to be making this flip page album. It's a five by eight size, so it's a bit bigger. And this is actually based off of one of my past projects, which I'll link down below. But I think I called it the same thing, like layered flip pages for your journals or albums. So this is pretty much the same idea. So for this album, I used the Tropic Bliss paper pad, which looks like this. And I got this from Michaels a few years ago. And on my cover, I just have chill and a nice cold drink. <laughs> this is definitely a summer album, as you can tell. And then I also made two side pockets here on my front cover. So I just stuck some scrap papers in there for now. I'm not really sure how I'm going to decorate them, but you can turn them into tags or tickets, journaling cards, photo mats, all of those fun things. So I've got two pockets there on the side. Whoops. <laughs> we'll open this up. And this is a four by six journaling card I just washi taped on. It says best day ever with this cute little sticker. So you could even put four by six photos just right on the inside covers. That would be super cute as well. And then here are the fun little flip pages on the inside. So there's like two pages per signature, I guess, if you want to call it that. So these ones, I just have pockets on the front and just some tags and like a little journaling card that I put together. There's a sticker here that says wild and free. And then down here, I have just a butterfly to decorate and a journaling card here. And over here, this is kind of like the sticky note spread. So I left this part blank for now, but sticky notes here and here all throughout and just added some stickers, little sentiments and quotes. So these are just regular pages. So I've just got maybe some writing space or photo space on the back there. And same thing here with a little summer label. And then my last few pages are pocket pages. So here is what's in the first pocket. Just some cute little journaling cards. These are three by four sized. And then I have this super cute little mermaid sticker right here. And let's go. And then this last page here, also a pocket page has another tag and a journaling card. And then I just made this little envelope to put on the front. So that just holds a little image and a vellum postcard. And on the back, I just washi taped another little journaling card and some extra space for writing here. Also two little side pockets in the very back. So again, I just put some scraps back there for now, but that's the whole album. And I mean, even if you wanted to turn this into a full size journal, you could do that. Like in between all of the pages or here, you could sew in a signature or even just tie a string around the spine and slide pages in that way. You could sew a signature in here here and in the back. So you could really make this like a four signature journal or add four more signatures if you wanted to. You have all of the space in there. And you can also put like chunkier stickers and embellishments on these pages if you just wanna leave it like this. So enough of the rambling, let's go ahead and just grab some paper and we can create one of these together. For today's album, I'm just going to be using my Sweet Melody paper pad here. And this was from Joann's. Again, a couple years ago I got this one, but I think you can still get it. And we're just going to start off actually with the spine. So this sheet really, it doesn't matter. Well, I guess it would matter if you mind what's on the inside. 
but this sheet here is pretty much what you're going to see on the inside where the spine is. So you could choose a plain colored cardstock for that or whatever you want, but this is just going to be a four by eight sheet. And I'm just going to flip it over so you can see a bit better, but we're just going to score at one and three at the four inch side. So one and three all the way down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut some slits at these measurements here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift this over to first one and a half. So one and a half, and then I'm just going to cut a little slit, obviously not like cutting the whole thing, but I just eyeball this part. And this is kind of what my first slit looks like. So you can see I left some space here at the top and the bottom, probably about like half an inch of space. So that's my first slit. And then I'm going to slide this over now to two and I will cut another slit. And then you could use this one as a guide, just kind of eyeball it. All right, and then I will slide it to, whoops, two and a half and do one more slit. So they don't have to be perfect, that's okay. But now we have our three little slits there for our spine. And so I'm actually gonna flip it over this way to the pattern side now. And we're gonna just slip some pages inside of those slits. <laughs> so let's just set this aside for now. And I'm just going to show you how I did my pages exactly like how I did them in here, just to give you some ideas. So these are the first pages we're going to be making with the little pockets in the front. So for those, you're just going to need two sheets of five and a half by five. And I'm just going to start first at the five and a half. No, I'm going to start at the five inch side. Sorry. <laughs> because this is where we're going to create our pocket. So at the five inch side, we're going to score at one and a half and that's going to be our pocket. So just make sure if you have a print that's going a certain way, you want to, well, something might be upside down. So I do suggest a non-directional print if you're doing a pocket page like this, because if this is upside down, this will be right side up and vice versa. If this is right side up, this is going to be upside down. If that makes sense. So that is going to be our little pocket. And then at the five and a half inch side, you just want to score at half an inch on the right. So I'm just going to open my paper up and flip it this way and score at half an inch. So I'll just fold that over and then I'm actually just gonna cut off this bottom portion here. So I'm gonna go in at an angle a bit and then just cut off the excess there. And then I'm just gonna glue this part up to create my pocket. All 
All right, so we have our tab here on the left. I don't remember if I said to have your tab on the left or the right, but you want it on the left here. Okay, so that's gonna be our first page and we're gonna do the same thing for this one. So I'm gonna start at the five inch side and just score at one and a half. And again, I want my tab here on the left. So just gonna flip my paper. All right, and I'll do the same thing and just cut out this bottom portion. And there's our next little pocket page. Okay, so we have these two. And now I'm just gonna bring back my little spine piece here. And I'm going to put these two inside of this first little slit that we made. So I'm just going to glue the tab here and slide this underneath my first little slit. This one I'm gonna to push towards the very top. And just make sure that can fold over nicely. And then we're gonna do the same for this one. Let's glue our little tab here and stick it underneath our slit. And this one, I'm just gonna push all the way down to wherever you cut. So those are gonna be my first two little pages. And so these ones have a little bit more space in between them than my first one. And that's just how it's going to be. Um, maybe your pages might overlap or layer up on top of each other and that's fine too. So let's just go ahead and flip these and push this to the side. And we're going to now create just our single pages here. So maybe you have some double-sided paper. I don't, so I'm still gonna use single-sided. But right here for our single pages, you'll just need two five and a half by three and a half sheets. And again, we're just scoring at half an inch on the left side. So I'm just flipping my paper over. So at five and a half, just give it a little tab. And that's the easiest little page there. So we can just fold the tabs over and glue those as well, same exact way. Okay, so those are the next pages and we just have one more slit. So let's put this aside. And the last page or the last few pages I made were these big pocket pages. So for those, you will just need two sheets that are 10 and a half by three and a half. So I'm just going to flip mine over here and we're going to line it up at the 10 and a half inch side. And we're just going to score at half an inch and five and a half. And 
and that's how we're going to fold it. And there's our little tab on the left. So I'm just going to now glue the side here and the bottom. And just bring that over. All right, and then we'll do the same thing to our last little pocket page here. All right, so we have all of our pages glued in now. And I'm just going to flip this over to the back side now. And we're just going to work with the spine here. And so we had a score line right here, which you can kind of barely see, but there's one there and then this one here. And we're just going to take those and fold back the spine. this way. I did not score this very well. But we're going to fold that back and then this one as well. We're going to fold that over. Okay, and then we can just glue these flaps down. We're not even going to see this back part anyway, but this just gives the spine a little bit more stability. So I'm just going to pop some glue all along these edges. And then you can just close them over all of your slits there in the back. All right, so that's going to be it for that spine portion. And just want to make sure that you press in between your pages too. But we're just going to allow that to dry. And we're going to start working on the outside. So for our cover, we're just going to need a 12 by 8 paper. I'm going to just flip mine again just so you can see, but this one we're going to score at the 12 inch side at 5 and 7. And that's it for the cover part. We're just going to fold the sides in. Alrighty, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take back our pages here and we're just going to glue the back of the spine right into this spine here from our cover. So I'm just going to pop some glue all over my spine here. And I am going to kind of smooth it out with my finger. And then we can just take the back of our spine here and attach it on the inside. I think I'm going to move my scoreboard actually.
Okay, so our spine's in, and then kind of just close up the whole book here, or album, and just make sure that it's nice and nestled in there. And then kind of just smooth out each space here. And just let that dry. But that provides even more stability for our spine. You could even kind of just lightly flatten the outside of it a bit. But there we have it. And then if your cover is single sided like mine, I just took two sheets here of five by eight and I'm just going to glue them to the back. And this is where I did my side pockets. So you could just create one big side pocket or you can do two like how I did. So just glue down three sides to start. And then if you want, you can just pop a line of glue right in the middle to create your two pockets. If you wanna add notches, you can do that. But now I'm just gonna attach this and make sure that it can still close up. So a bit of a longer tutorial today, but this project is a little more in depth, so. I am going to cut off that excess there once it's dry, but I'm going to grab my other 5x8 here and just glue it to the back. Okay, that is good enough for me. Now we can go ahead and decorate and fill this up. You could even add tassels to your spine, like multiple tassels maybe. <laughs> but I'm going to pretty much finish this or mostly finish this off camera. And then I will come back and show you what it looks like at the end. Since this tutorial was already a bit longer. So I will be right back to show you the finished result. And here it is, mostly complete. My cover is pretty simple. I just added this little banner. It says sweet, and then there's an extra little flower there as well. I, again, just took some scraps and used those as my inserts for my two pockets on the side. And when we open it up, I have just a list here. I put a to-do sticker. So you can write your to-do list or just some reminders. And then for my pockets here, I just made this little card and added a row sticker to the corner. There's a butterfly over here and just a few more little journaling cards. So you could even stick little mementos or something from trips. And over here, I made another little flower banner. I thought maybe a small photo would go nicely there. Same thing over here, or you could make a little journaling space if you wanted to, but there's a small label. And then I have another little sticky note. Love this. Just some extra paper here for writing that's washi taped on. And then over here, I just created another pocket with my scraps. And same kinds of things, just some cute little journaling cards. And I just have a little bit of writing space down here. I added this house die cut piece with some foam tape. And my last two pages here, this one says thinking of you. 
and I just made this little journaling card. Adventure is out there. You could journal right on there. And my last little flip page here has this girl with a bike and just some little hearts there and some three by four journaling cards. And I didn't really decorate the backs of these quite yet, but I did put another four by six card in here with some washi tape. And then my last little inserts here, same kind of thing. I just put some scraps in there and I'll just decorate those up a bit more as I go. But that's everything for my little album. So I hope that you guys enjoy this longer tutorial. This project was a little more in depth but I think it's definitely fun to decorate and fill up this album here. And you can just do so much with it too. You can add so much more. So thank you guys for joining me today. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun and inspiration. And leave me a comment down below. I'll see you all very soon in my next video. So happy crafting and huge hugs to all of you.